Did you have any kind of weight loss surgery to help you along the way? Hey, d -Rose gang, it's me, Mama Nancy, and to those of you that are new here, welcome to the channel. Last year, I lost over 100 pounds, between 60 and 70 inches all over my body, and I reversed my blood pressure, my diabetes, and my cholesterol. I documented my journey from beginning until now on my fitness Instagram page, link in the description box below, and also I did a few weight loss inspired videos here on YouTube. After all that, I got a lot of questions. So I put it on my D Rose Gang Instagram page, on my Back At It Again Instagram fitness page, and here on YouTube. Ask me your questions. So over here, I have all of your questions. It's a lot of questions, so I feel I may have to split this one up. <laughs> any kind of weight loss surgery to help you along the way. The surgery was on the table. The surgery was offered to me by my doctor. My mother said, Nancy, give it one more try. Give it one more chance. Give yourself one more chance before you make this decision because there honestly is no going back. And this is it. Here we are. Here we are. So thank you, mommy, for believing in me. That's my biggest supporter right there. Next question, how is your blood pressure? Do you still worry about it being an issue? No, I don't. I don't because I still eat very clean. I still drink my teas. I still drink my water. So I'll go to the gym, go crazy on a treadmill. I just got back into treadmilling. Ugh. I'll leave the stress right there on the gym floor. So I don't check very often. I used to check at the supermarkets or CVS, Rite Aid, places like that where they have the little blood pressure machines, but COVID happened. So I am socially distancing myself from all of that. When I go to the doctor, cause I'm almost due for a physical, I will definitely have them check there. But do I worry about it? No, I don't. Plus worrying is bad for your blood pressure. It just says diet bet. That's what it says. It says diet bet. So I did a video a while back, a while, while back about me wanting to get a bunch of my subscribers, a bunch of my followers, a bunch of my friends, a bunch of my family together and have one big old diet bet. And what diet bet is you put your money where your mouth is. So you could go in with a $10 bet, that is the lowest. And if I did one, that's what I would go with. I would not go with 20 or 30 or 40 or 50. I would start small, hey, put up $10 and everybody that succeeds in losing 4% of their body weight for that month walk away with a piece of the money. I really wanna do that. And the reason I wanted to do that was because uh, any motivation is good motivation. Even if it's, it, you, it's kind of like gambling. Even if it's, like I said, putting your money where your mouth is. Even if it's that incentive to make you get up, get out, get active. There's also step back. How many steps can you take? Regardless, whatever works, works. For those of you that are lacking motivation, for those of you that are lacking support, I just wanted to have a nice place just for one month, just for four weeks, where we could encourage one another, share recipes with one another, and, and make a little money on the side. Make a little money on the side. But unfortunately, I went and set up the page, and nobody joined. <laughs> Nobody joins, so I left that idea alone. If y'all want it, comment down below. Come to my Instagram page, comment there. Just say something to me to let me know that y'all want me to organize this and I will definitely do it. Do I have cheat days or cheat meals? No, 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 no. Everything is on plan. If I want to eat, now I gotta give this example. My mom started this thing after Mother's Day. If y'all watched that Mother's Day video, we had red lobster. If you watched my birthday video, we had red 
lobster and it brought the family together you know around a nice table of food and we enjoyed each other's company and we enjoyed a great meal mommy said i want to do sunday dinner bring the whole family let's do sunday dinner depending on what she's cooking I will pencil that into my planner. Like, okay, Sunday at, sometimes it's four o'clock, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's five. Sunday between three and five, we're having dot, dot, dot. So I always try to leave no room. I don't want to say for error, but maybe for guessing. Now, I know a few people that plan out their, I don't like cheat meals. I don't like saying that off plan meals and is it really off plan if you plan on doing it like if you want a, a slice of pizza i feel and my mom feels rule of thumb everything in moderation like don't eat the whole pie don't eat the whole pie i know it look good i like pepperoni too but don't eat the whole pie that's it everything in moderation but i don't i don't like the word cheat it makes me feel like I'm doing something dirty. So before losing weight, was I concerned about loose skin? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I didn't even think about that. It's not I didn't even think about that. I got loose skin from having five children. I got, I got, you know what I mean? The girls don't sit where they used to um and the belly is not on flat flat no more but i had five kids so was i thinking about oh i'll have even more loose skin no i was mainly thinking about i want to live i really want to improve the quality of my life i want to actually play with my kids i'm a big kid i love to have fun so no i was not thinking about the loose skin but lo and behold it is here so that brings me to the second part of their question. Where are you with the skin removal surgery? Okay, I am at close to $400, close to $400. I at least, I know what doctor I wanna go with. I know that. I know around a ballpark of how much it may cost. So I would like to at least have half of that. I have money that I'm saving up over here. And to the people that contributed to GoFundMe, and I have to shout this young lady out, Lisa Davis, I'm sorry for blowing you up. But as I'm getting ready for this video, your GoFundMe donation came through. And I was just like, wow. So Lisa, Tanisha Thomas, I'm blowing everybody up. Um, but I'm just naming a few because there's quite a few people. I, George, Mary Stewart, Zahara, Alabar. I'm sorry if I butchered your last name. They mess up my last name all the time. Now, that don't make it right. But we're all in this together. My last name is Desrose here. Say that three times fast. So I just want to say thank you for everybody that took time. It, it's been a rough year, to say the least. So to everybody that took time to contribute, to everybody that left messages about their support, I really appreciate all of it. I wanna document the journey. I talked to Jennifer, I talked to the kids. I'm like, look, if I'm out of it, why am I talking like I had the surgery? Look, if I'm out of it and I can't record, record for me, the good, the bad, the ugly, because there may be somebody that is contemplating doing it. And I want to let you know what you're in for. I want to let you know if it was a success. I want to let you know if, why the heck did I even have this idea creep up in my head in the first place. I want you to see the results. Know if I'm happy. Like, I really want to document this beautiful journey that I'm going to go through one day. How often do you weigh in? Oh my gosh, in the beginning of my journey every single day, every two, three times a day. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Every time the, the living room, I was at my mom's house for a little while and I was in the living room because I didn't want to go up the stairs. I'm, my lazy was on a thousand. So I was in the living room and I put the scale 
in between the living room and the kitchen. So you have to go from the living room through the kitchen to get to the restroom downstairs. So I would wake up, stand on the scale, go to the restroom, come back, stand on the scale. Because because I dropped something off, so I know I lost something. So I would stand on the scale and then go back into the living room. It was too obsessive. It really played games with my mind. So honestly, maybe every week, maybe every two weeks, I think is healthy for me because I would obsess. Do you count calories or macros? First of all, I really don't want to sound ignorant, but I don't even know what macros are. I did not get a chance to look those up. So no, I'm not counting that. Calories, I don't know how. So no. I personally rather know the quality of what I'm eating than the calorie of what I'm eating. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just how I feel about it. Plus, I don't know how to do it, so. <laughs> Any luck on Tinder? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I kind of gave up. I'm two seconds away from deleting the whole entire profile. I'm two seconds away from deleting the profile. It goes like, hey, how you doing? And then I'm, I'm fine, how are you? And then tomorrow, it's the same exact thing. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? How was your day? Everything's good. Oh. And then tomorrow, same thing again. I'm like, oh my gosh. 40 is about to roll by, like we gotta speed this up or something. So no, it's not going well. So I think, like I said, I'm gonna delete it and let it happen organically. What is your favorite food? Mm, I'm fasting right now, by the way. <laughs> favorite food, I love salmon. I love my mashed cauliflower, but after I made it, from scratch, my mashed cauliflower, it totally beats the store-bought one. And I'm not saying that because, well, partially because I made it, but it's really, really good. So salmon and my mashed cauliflower. Dieting, I don't like that word, but your eating doesn't have to be boring. Eating for weight loss doesn't have to be boring. I'm gonna share a couple of new recipes with y'all soon. I'm so excited about that because it really truly doesn't have to be boring. You don't have to skip taste and flavor just because you want to look snatched. No ma'am. Have you ever tried the keto diet? No. What I know about the keto diet from watching people on Instagram, it's high fat, low carb. I am going to try the keto diet in an upcoming video. I'm gonna get a couple of recipes together. I wanna to see if my experience shows that I lose weight on the keto diet and get together some recipes again to share with y'all that are thinking about doing the keto diet as well. So, okay, I did say ask anything. It says in the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read, watch a movie, <laughs> watch a movie. I wanna say visit a relative because my mom legit lives three minutes away from me. So I could visit my mom, but then I wanna come back home and watch a movie in my bed with my kids. How do you remain consistent? My struggle is giving up when I'm discouraged. <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching. Tune in next time for another video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you on the flip side. Peace.